Hello, welcome back to HWRadio.com. You're here with your main man, Hollywood, and today we back on the Lake Show. I gave y'all motherfuckers a break. We took an L. We took one L, so that makes an equal of two L's we done took this season. But as you see, we have the greatest record in the NBA right now. So, we number one on the power rankings. But today I decided, like, man, fuck it. I've been just sitting here telling my emotions. So let's just get a little bit of factual. Because we just got another. Like, it, it used to be LeBron James making history. But now it's a team making history. So, we have Anthony Davis, Dwight Howard, and JaVale McGee react to Lakers having the most blocks in team history since 2002. And here goes the story. The first month of the NBA season is nearly coming to an end, and the Los Angeles Lakers still hold the best defensive rating in the league, in large part due to their shot block big men. Not only do the Lakers have Anthony Davis, who leads the NBA in total block shots, 38, but they also have Dwight Howard, who is ranked 9th with 21, and JaVale McGee, who is ranked number 22 with 15. No other team has three players in the top 25 in blocks. The Lakers' shot blocking prowess was on full display on Sunday against the Atlanta Hawks as they finished the game with 14 blocks, the most shots they've rejected in a single game since 2002. In that game against the Memphis Grizzlies on December 3rd, 2002, Shaquille O'Neal led the Los Angeles Lakers with seven blocks. Kobe and Robert Horry added three each. JaVale McGee, who ended the game with two blocks, was pleasantly surprised to hear how long it's been since the Lakers have had that many blocks in the game, but he didn't sound shocked that this team did it. That's amazing, McGee said. It seems like we've had a lot of most this year, had a lot of most this year. It's pretty dope. We're just playing great defense. That's what we've been talking about the whole team. That's what the coach has been talking about, has been harping on defense. Blocking shots is a part of that. Davis, who led the Lakers with five blocks, said the team has made a concerted effort to not allow shots at the rim this season. We try to make sure that we give up no dunks and layups, Davis said. Obviously, some things are going to happen throughout the course of the game, but for the most part, we want to protect the rim. I think we did a good job of that tonight. Between Davis and McGee, the Lakers have plenty of shot blocking in their starting front court. However, they also have Howard off the bench, and he's been just as impressive in that regard. In fact, Howard is second on the team and contested two-point shots, 6.4 behind Davis's 8.9. As a three-time defensive player of the year, Howard prides himself in what he brings on defense, and he said that the Lakers do too this season. Well, we know that defense wins championships, Howard said, so for all of us, that's our main goal, is it make sure we hold opponents to under 100 points every night. Blocking shots is one of them, but changing shots and making sure our bigs are up on all the pick and rolls, making it hard for the guards to score, that's what we want to do. And that's going to make us better on the offensive end. While the Lakers aren't an elite offensive team yet, they're ranked in the top 10 in offensive rating. And because they're so good on the defensive end, they also lead the league in net rating. Considering two of the top three teams in net rating, made the NBA Finals last season. That's a good sign for the Lakers. So, as y'all can see, this ain't just me just on this motherfucker's fan. Man, the Lakers is killing y'all. The Lakers won, man. The Lakers won. Nah, motherfucker. We have the stats. Statistically, we are the best. That's like LeBron James as a team. Motherfucker, we statistically the best team in the NBA right now fucking now so if you a laker fan fuck it man pour a drink up it's early morning celebrate with me i'm about to fire this blunt up and sip me some red wine like i'm one of the 12 disciples but nigga it's celebration time and we we don't need no no soggy people in this motherfucker we don't need no motherfucking haters today 
We don't need no hateration, Mary J. Blige type shit. But we definitely need to celebrate because we back. Lakers Nation, the Lake Show continues. And we out. Thank <laughs> you.